Hi, today I'm going to talk about a profitable business in Nigeria. Before that is archery farm. Before now, I've already talked about how to set up your own poultry farm in Nigeria. So if you haven't watched my video, my previous video, just try to see my channel. Then I have a lot of videos about how to set up your own poultry farm and what are the things and how to get it, how, how to get started. Now I want to talk about how to set up your own archery farm. Don't forget that when you have a poultry farm, your chickens as well as your turkey, so they are going to produce eggs for you. If they produce eggs for you, how do you want to hatch those eggs? That is why you need to have a knowledge about hatchery farm also. Now, but before I explain that, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and you like this video so that you can get notified anytime I upload a new video. Now, let's see. Let's say you have a lot of money and you want to invest or you have just only few neighbors and you want to invest them in poultry or in archery farm precisely then the only thing you need to buy is just to buy an incubator then after that some local farmers they will bring in eggs for you because they don't actually have money to buy hashi machine or to buy an incubator they will bring in their eggs for you and if you have your own farm also of course you can actually be hatching your own eggs now then afterwards you get the egg hatched then uh, you get your money this is actually a weekly return this is a weekly return and the process continues like that now let me tell you why do you need to invest in this business the first thing is the demand is very high why the demand is very high is because majority of the local farmers they actually they don't have their own hashing machine and the demand every day we are we are eating chicken we are eating turkey in nigeria especially the um the foreign chicken as well as the foreign turkey now so uh, uh, the government already closed the border and there is very high demand for local one then the reverse uh, return on investment is very high at long run now i'm going to show you what i mean by this what are the problems of archery farm what are the problems you might be having the first thing is the electricity as we know that we have epileptic uh, uh, electricity in nigeria electric electricity is not that stable but if you go to some area like gra government reserve area or if you go to like you know industrial area you can still get electricity up to like 17 to 18 hours per day it depends on where you are in the country so then the disease disease transmission is also one of the issues then another issue is to have the expert and another issue is to have an honest um, employee who are going to work with you. Now, what are the procedures of getting started? The first thing is if you have your own personal farm, it's a good idea to, to have your own hatching machine otherwise you might not make so much profit. If you have, if you have your own personal farm and you can find your way to have a shop or something small building so in um in an industrial area so, so that you can have a constant electricity then it's always a good idea to have your own incubator then afterwards let's say that you actually want to use this archery frame you want to use it for commercial purpose yes for sure you can do that you just need to be collecting eggs from farmers and in fact this industry it is very rich so because there are just only few people have hatching machine just only few people and we have a lot of farmers now what are the list of things you might need before you get started the first thing is you need to have your own um, archery building and you have to make sure that it is very far from your residential area and another one is to have some equipment just like a tree and some other things and the another one is to have experienced workers and another one is to have your own setter setter it means an incubator and is to have your own archer you need to have a brooder candler as well as tray now let me quickly explain what are all this one are such setter when you take your egg into hatchery then they are going to set those eggs inside setter for you. I'm going to use a turkey as an example. If it is turkey, egg, uh, turkey, turkey eggs will stay inside setter for complete 24 to 25 days. Then, it will, then they will take it out and put it in the inside hatcher and it will, it will take another 3 to 4 days which means everything is plus or minus around 28 days which is 4 weeks. What about, what about chicken? For chicken inside setter, when they put egg inside the setter, 
it will take 18 days then inside hatcher it will take another three days so that's plus or minus then it's going to be at uh, three weeks which is uh, 21 days then you are going to have your own breeder in order to uh, make um, your day old stronger and you need to have a candler just to test which egg are fertile and which one they are not fertile those eggs that are not fertile you you don't actually need to put them inside hatcher then you need to have the tree the tree where you put the eggs and you need to have the cool room or you can use just normal ac we use in the house also now let me show you what are the prices of incubator so the link below i'm going to put a link below just try to check it and you can have a link to the website where you can buy your own incubator of course they are locally made incubator which the one you can buy in nigeria but here uh, you can actually import incubator so from outside the country also i'm going to show you a website there are a lot of websites like that but i'm going to show you one in this video okay let's get started all right yeah so this is the website i'm going to show you the name of this website is surehatch.co.za it's actually it is actually a south africa um company so you can actually buy your own uh hatching or, or you, you can buy your incubator from them or you can buy your hatcher from them so they do so this is the uh, tester which is the candler they have so you can just try to go through the website and you can see different options they have together with the prices all this one they are not so expensive by the way because this one now it can it has the capacity of of 2000 eggs hatcher 2000 eggs hatcher and this one it has 2160 and it costs only 28,000 rand this is south africa money so let's say you convert it now to nigeria money let's go to google so rand to naira let's say you want to convert uh, south africa money south africa uh, currency into nigeria so that one the one they call how much they call this one so they call it 28,000 and they used to give discount also let's say 28,000 then how much is equal to in Nigeria it's equal to around 573 of 573,000 naira 573,000 naira of course it was an investment and if we invest on this you can easily get a lot of profit on it on long run which I'm going to explain very soon okay the second part of this video i'm going to show you how much is the price of hatching turkey as well as chicken eggs in nigeria likewise i'm going to show you what is the rough estimated return on investment on this business so if you invest on it please don't forget, don't forget to subscribe to my channel as well as like this video so if you um, you continue with me in the second part of this video